Today is Wednesday, October 5th, 2022. It is also day 240 of Blender, and today I'm going to do 3D text with geometry nodes. I'm going to use this font by Vladimir Nikolic um, from thefont.com. It's called Mexican Tequila, and I downloaded that. So now I'm going to open up Blender, and I'm going to go to General, and I'm going to go to Geometry Nodes at the top, and I'm going to hide the spreadsheet. And then I'm going to click on new for a new geometry node system, then disconnect the input from the output. And then the first thing I'll do is do shift A and search for a string to curves node. And I'm going to connect that to the output. So this is like my string, which is my text. I actually have to set it here. So I'm going to say something like taqueria. And then I'm going to upload the font by clicking on the folder near the F. Um, let's see this one. All right, so that's what it's looking like so far. To get it standing upwards, I'm going to do Shift A and get a transform node. And then change the rotation of the X to be 90. And that's just saying, hey, I want you to rotate 90 degrees along the X axis, which is the red axis or the red line. All right. To give it some faces, I'll do Shift A and get a fill curve node, and I'll change the fill type to n-gons. And the reason why is if I go to wireframe, I notice that the vertices are very, very messy when they're in triangles. But if I change it to n-gons, it becomes much better. So that's the reason. Um, then I'll do Shift A and get an uh, extrude mesh node and change the offset value to be 0 0.1. And that's just going to give the letter some thickness. Now, if I look at the back though, it's not filled in the back. So to fix that, I'll do Shift A and get a fill, nope, a join geometry node. And that's gonna join both the fill curve and the extrusion mesh geometry as long as I connect those two together. So now they're good from the front and the back. So then the last part is to add a material. So set material and place that in here and just select the first material that you see. Now that's literally it. So um, in layout, in order to see the material better, I like to add a backdrop. So I do Shift A, Mesh, and then Plane, and then S to scale. I'll probably do something like, oops, I don't know what just happened. S and then five. All right, something like that. All right, and then G and then X to grab along the X axis, which is the red line. And then in Edit Mode at the top left corner, I'm going to select Edge Select, select the back edge, and then E to extrude, and then Z to extrude along the z-axis, which is the blue line. Back in object mode, I'm just going to make sure that this is a little bit lower so it doesn't, um, so the letters are all visible. And then I'll go into material preview so I can actually see the material. So for me, I would want to make, let's say, the backdrop to be something like, actually, maybe something like orange, and then, the actual text could be, let's say, green, or is that too much? I could do a darker green. Or it could be red, or green, or blue. All right, so something like that. Maybe it's best if I switch the colors. So what if I make this one this color, and then this one I'll make it orange okay um how about darker something like that maybe red i really can't tell what would be better maybe that okay so then at this point i'll go to front view by pressing the button um under the escape key and hovering over front and then i'll do Control alt numpad zero to align my camera to the view now for this to work, you have to go to Edit, Preferences, and if you don't have a numpad, you want to go to Input and Emulate a numpad, check that on. But if you already have a numpad, then you don't need that. So Control alt numpad 0. So it's going to do this. To get out of this view, you press the middle mouse button. To go back into the view, you press on 0. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit and do the same thing until I kind of get it right. So at this point, this is what it looks like. So at that point, I just kind of press on the backdrop and scale it up. Um, and then render preview to kind of see the final result. Um, to fix this, I would actually go and move the light and just do GY to move it on the Y axis, which is the green line. 
zero to kind of get that view back and I think that's good. I could always move it a little bit closer. Maybe that's good. And then move the backdrop a little bit upwards. So G and then Z. Kind of move it here. There. All right. And now you can just go to the top, click on render, render image, and it should render the image. And this is the final result. So now you just save it to your computer by going to image and save as, and then save it as whatever you want. And that's it for today. Bye.